Hello everybody, Miss Riley, and I am here to show you how we are going to bring the tessellation tile that we create from paint into Sketchpad. So I already have here finished my tessellation tile. And you can see that I made sure when I moved the pieces to the opposite side that they were fully connected. There's no space in between. So now what I need to do is select and cut out this shape to copy and paste into Sketchpad. So first, what I probably want to do is open up Sketchpad. So I'm going to open up a new tab. I'm just going to put into my Google Sketchpad. All right, here's a different one that I was playing with. When you open it, it might look like this if you are already doing something previous. If it does look like that, all you need to do is push the plus button and pick a new page. So I'm going to pick the one that has a blank background, create that. Now I have my blank page. So now I can switch back to the paint tab where my tessellation was. I'm going to use the dotted rectangle tool. I'm going to make a box around my tessellation. I know it's selected because I can move it around. Now on my keypad, I'm going to push control C. The control button on your keypad is usually on the bottom left corner. This is C T R L. I'm going to push that. I'm going to hold it down. And at the same time, I'm going to push down the letter C. I'm just going to push it down once. And I can let go of the control button. Now it didn't do anything on the screen, but it did something in the computer. <laughs> Doesn't look like it, but it did. Now I can switch back to my sketch pad. I am going to just click anywhere on my page. Now I'm going to push control V and that is going to paste the shape from paint into here into Sketchpad. So I'm going to push down that same control button, hold it down and push down the letter V like vegetable. And there we go. We have our shape now. Our shape is brought in from paint to where I want it and to Sketchpad. I can move it around. The very first thing we need to do is make a copy of it. And we have to do this in a unique way because if we were going to just make a regular copy right here, duplicate, it doesn't let us do all the things we need it to do in Sketchpad. So the way we're going to make the very first copy is you're going to choose the paint bucket. And I want to make sure that this option here is on vector fill. When you click on it, you, you, you'll have two options, vector fill, pixel fill. I want to make sure it's on vector fill. Now I want to make it a different color than my um, original one. So mine is blue. I'm going to change mine to something different. And this is so I know which one's the copy. I'm going to choose orange. Now I'm going to click onto my tessellation tile. Oops, looks like something went wrong. That's okay. We can just put our undo button. Maybe it's supposed to be on pixel fill. Oh, that's where I went wrong. This is supposed to be on pixel fill. So make sure it's on pixel fill change it to your different color other than the original one. I'm going to click on the tessellation tile and there we go. It worked this time. So it needs to be on pixel fill. Pixel fill is our option. I'm going to switch back to my pointer tool, my select tool, and you'll see that 
and made a copy of it. So I have my orange copy and my blue original one. So my new copy is going to be my new master copy. I don't need the blue one anymore, so I can delete that. Now from this one, I can make copies of this. I can right click, duplicate, right click, duplicate, right click, whoops, not that, duplicate. I can make as many copies as I want to. But I always want to keep one untouched because if I make designs and all of these and then I want to make another copy of her mess up, I always want to be making a copy from a blank one. So that is the first step in bringing your tessellation title from paint into sketch pad and making copies.